Now, when it comes to preventing the types of vulnerabilities that we're going to cover in this class, I would be remiss if I didn't at least mention the idea of adopting a completely different language. As you'll see through this entire class, these are going to be a lot of different vulnerabilities that happen a lot of different places. And, you know, sometimes it's a lot of work in order to actually try to combat them. And so maybe it's going to be less work in order to adopt a different language. Now, I am not a crazy person, so I know that this is not going to be easy. And that's why, you know, just by way of trying to say, you know, in a reasonable fashion, I know you're not going to be able to rewrite, you know, your millions of lines of source code that, you know, some of you have. And consequently, it's not about, you know, rewriting your entire code in a new, more safe language. Uh, it's about sort of finding a way to adopt piecemeal uh, the use of languages like Rust and Go and so forth for just one component at a time. And, you know, in the context of user space, that might mean one library at a time. It might mean, you know, in the context of an operating system, one particular application or daemon at a time. Web browsers are frequently broken up to more and more pieces these days. So you know, one piece of the browser at a time, one kernel driver at a time, one firmware module at a time. Now, again, because I am not a crazy person, I know that logistics rules everything around me, which means it's not just a simple matter of, you know, adopting one particular DLL or kernel module, firmware module. I know that there's a whole bunch of other things that need consideration to actually write production code. You have to train all the developers on the new language. You have to integrate with the existing code. You have to find ways to learn how to debug that code as effectively as you used to on your C code. Finding versus writing libraries to do what you're trying to do. Uh, trying to build the production code for deployment. You know, I'm aware that there's entire build systems that have to be modified in order to even create the binaries to, you know, incorporate into some overall larger component and packaging system. Uh, there's the things like QA and regression testing, in-field diagnostics, factory deployment, if applicable for things like, you know, firmware, for instance. So, you know, I have worked at a company that does production code at scale. I have seen the nitty gritty ins and outs of things like, you know, Apple's build system, and I've learned much more than I ever wanted to learn about them. So I know it's difficult, but defending all of your C source code is difficult as well, as you'll see in this class. So just something to think about. I'm just putting it out there.